Hey guys, welcome to the second episode of Witchcrafting. I'm Wendora and I am your hostess for today. Today our craft is going to require you having um, some twisty ties. Um, it can come from your bread, it can come from your kids' toys, it can come from something you bought yesterday. Um, just a couple. You'll need some sort of ribbon. Um, you will need five sticks or pieces of wood of some sort, just tiny, um, but make sure they're kind of durable. Um, so you can use some branches, you can use popsicle sticks, you can use paint, stirring sticks, really all prefers on your preference here. Um, scissors, maybe some form of glue, hot glue, super glue, uh, maybe even tape. Um, I'm pretty sure I said a ribbon because I think that was the first thing I said. Yes, so you'll need those. Today I'm going to um, show you guys how to make an herb drying rack and you can also turn this into a mobile as well. So um, let's get started here. So you've got your five pieces of wood. It can be popsicle sticks and as you can see you're going to turn it into the pentagram. Um, with this one here I just used my hot glue gun and glued the bits together. Make sure you get it in place where you want them to be and make sure it's touching because if not you're going to have to tear it all apart and start over which is nice because hot glue is kind of forgiving. So you can make it like this or you can make it like this. Mine looks a little wonky. There we go. That's the way I want to show you. Um, when you go for tying these, make sure you tie them nice and tight. And you might want to go over, under, and around, and then start doing your tying. And make sure they're tight. You don't want this moving and shifting. See how nice and firm this is? It's nice and still. So that's what you want to do. I personally am making a smaller herb drying rack because I don't dry a lot of my own personal herbs, unfortunately. So for me, it's more ideal for me just to have this little one I showed you guys. Then with the little one, I just glued um, some ribbon on the back so I can just put it up on the ceiling or hand it off a hook and it can just hang there nice and lovely like this. But when it comes to the bigger one, it becomes a little more tricky. Um, I got some fishing line. Make sure your line's even because this one's not so it becomes kind of neat. But the good news is is you can still work it out by like pulling it up here as you can see and making it more flat. But you need to tie a piece of string or ribbon on each corner here and run it to the top. And you can form a loop up here and you can hang it up on the ceiling. So you have it just sitting there hanging looking lovely. And then you're going to use your twisty ties to make hooks and hangers for your herbs like I have my pepper here. I just took one of these twisty ties here and I will show you with this one. And I took it around town. There we go. And I just did a nice little twist to make it firm and in place. There you go. And then with the end here you just turn it into a hook and it just hangs. And you just put it on here. This one's a little tinier than I would like. Oh, it came undone. Well, there's another thing. Make sure you get it nice and firm and tight, which I didn't. So to make this video not just be me twisting tight, I'll show the one I already did and did it correctly. And then you just hang it off the side. And then they just sit there and dry. And when they are dry, you can um, jar them. Now, as you can see with this one, you might want to make an offsetting, is what I call it, weight. As you would have seen on my bigger one, my bigger rack hanger here. Come here. I have an amethyst that I just tied with some string tie, twisty ties. And you can offset them and make it more balanced, which that didn't work because this stone's way a lot bigger. But you can make little things like that. I, I more would think it'd be better to do it with clay. And I was going to make some of them yesterday, but my mom was in the hospital, so I was there most of the day. So sorry, I don't have those to show you guys. But um, yeah, so you just tie the twisty tie around. You hang them. You might want to make a little something, even beading, to hang off the side to kind of make it not be so flop -sidey, just to keep the weight nice and distributed. Um, you can also use the twisty ties for your lavender. Lavender bushels of herbs like this and it does the same thing you just got the excess here to turn into the nice hook to hang on your rack and yeah it's really convenient it's very nice I don't know about you guys but I'm one of those people I normally just lay a paper towel down like this 
and I put my stuff out, I let it dry, and then I jar it. And it's really nice and simple, but it's very frustrating when um, I'm cooking and it's down in the kitchen and I can't lay my stuff out because my herbs are drying there. Or if I'm upstairs and they're drying on my hutch, I can't do a whole bunch of spell working or sitting stuff out to get ready for a ritual because my herbs are there. This makes it a lot more convenient because it's up and out and it's still drying, getting the what the, what it needs. Um, and it looks cute and looks lovely and it smells amazing, especially that lavender I just showed. So it's nice. It's very nice. Um, another thing you can also do if you um, don't want to put... Um, if you have smaller herbs of some sort you want to dry out, um, you can put them in here. Like, let's say you get some flower heads. You can always put them in a little bag and get the little twisty ties and put them at the top of the string. And you can hang them as well off of here. So you can just hang them and dry them that way as well. Um, you can also use it if you wanted to freshen up a room and you wanted to make your own little herbal blend and you wanted to let that be like a potpourri hanging in your bathroom. You could do that. Um, you could also use this, as I said earlier, as a mobile. Um, I'm planning on making my bigger one here and turn it into more of a mobile to put over my bed, something to help relax me, to help me sleep. And you can make little sachets to put on there to for that. You can do the twisties with the crystals. As you can see with this one, I just twisted my amethyst in there and voila no damage to the stone and if I need it and want to use it for something else I can easily take it off um, and doing little crafts with clay you can just do a whole bunch of ribbon work and just make it look all flow and free I have two relaxing blue and purples for that so I'm sorry again that I wasn't able to get that finished yesterday but I'm sure you guys understand um, with my mother being in the hospital but yes, those are my herb drying racks and I'm hoping you enjoyed the craft and it went well. I don't think I've done a lot of actually DIYs, um, do it yourself. I think I did it backwards. No, I did it right, good, okay. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you stay tuned for tomorrow. Make sure to do some very awesome crafts yesterday and if you didn't see that video, make sure you go and check that out. Um, but um, stay tuned. I will see you guys next Saturday and I... We'll uh, sign off from here. So blessings, guys. Thank you so much for subscribing and watching which is Witchcrafting. And um, yeah, have a blessed, awesome Lamas. And I will see you Saturday. Bye.